Hello, my name is Stephen Ball, and in this video, we're going to be looking at building visual live bindings, but via code rather than using the live bindings designer. So we can actually dynamically link to different objects onto the same forms at runtime, or we're dynamically creating controls, how we can go ahead and build bindings that link to those controls. So in my last video, we looked at creating using the prototype bind source, uh, a really, really simple foo object that had a name and a value and then using the prototype bind source on create adapter event we were binding using generics to a list of objects that we we're creating and now here we're just passing them in creating them on the, the form create uh, you could pass it just in as a, a property of the form and then just set the pointer um, but that's where we're at so now what we want to do is we actually want to create the bindings at runtime because we're not actually going to be um, using the design time support here. So first thing I need to do, if I just go and bind visually, we can see what we've set up. Now a really simple trick here, um, go ahead and, and build it like this, um, connect up the controls, see it all working, right click and then go view as text. Now what you can do in here, and if we skip past all the, the list view part that's put there, uh, we can see we get to the, the bindings list and there's two objects in here one linking the list and the other one linking the edit control. So I'm just going to copy those and then go back to viewers form and let's just delete the bindings now and let's just set this value back to zero and using the form create I'm just going to go ahead and build these objects at runtime. So let's just change this to create on self. You can use Control Shift V to declare and link that in. And then just a case of pasting these in. So the easiest way to do that is just record a macro, Control Shift V. And then all we need to do is just come down here, put in our four colons. Again, I could do a macro for this, but there's not much, so I'm just going to do this very quickly. Now, these ones here have got nothing in them, so I'm actually just going to take those out of the way. Um, don't really care about the category, so I can get that out of the way as well. And then we're on to the next one. Link control to the field. Again, don't care about the category. And let's just put in our semicolons at the end. So this is a really, really quick way to actually um, build up what we want. In fact, I just need to replace these. These are incorrect. There we are. Um, so that's a really, really quick way to get in and do that. So we've got different um, types as the link list to control field, link control to field. Um, you can go down, um, you know, the properties. And in fact, we'll look at in a few of the, the later videos um, the additional properties and how you can set them up. But this is a really, really quick way to be able to get going with linking controls to fields by runtime. Now, the last thing that we need to do is I'm just going to disable and re enable. prototype bind source and that will just then refresh it and now we can see without the bindings we still have our objects connected at runtime. 